Hello there everyone, Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. I'm sharing with you a journal that I've just finished making for a customer. And it's going out to its new mummy this weekend. So I want to see if you can guess what profession this lady was. Uh, she's now retired. And I haven't actually decorated the front cover overly fancy because I've covered it in this beautiful embroidered fabric, which you'll see better once I've unraveled the, the tie on it. So basically I've hand dyed the seam binding in blues and greens. And this is the charm that acts as a closure. Guessed a profession yet? Yeah. Now, I've put the nameplate up here and I've put the word imagine in, but I've actually put another piece of paper underneath it so that the lady can actually um, name the journal herself. So this just wraps around and the thermometer hooks through the handle. But maybe you can see the embroidered fabric better now. And then on the spine, I've added some lace and some buttons and the embroidered fabric continues round to the back. So as I say, I didn't want to cover over all of that beautiful embroidery with pictures and images, and I've put some uh, book corners on as well to help to protect the corners of the book. She's ended up being quite a chunky little monkey. So let's get on inside. So the lady can put her details on here and she wanted mainly blues um, and greens and flowers um, so I've added a picture of a nurse up here so yes you guessed correctly if you said nurse I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because obviously I want to leave some bits as surprises for the lady but there's a, a pocket double pocket here so there's a tag at the top there and then there's a pocket with bits and pieces in here and then this butterfly if you can see it's got a safety pin on for its body and some bugle beads and i've put some buttons on the lace as well this page unclips Sorry, paper clip just got caught. And this folds out this way and this way because this lady wants to write some of her memoirs in here so that she can hand it over to her daughter. So there is plenty of writing space in here. So this is the other side of the page and then there's a pocket here with some journaling cards in, some flowers. This was from a first aid book and then there's some journaling cards in there. This was a, a saying that I stamped off. If you remember, I did uh, some mass makes and I did some stamping on some of my scraps of paper. So this is where they come in handy to have them all sort of ready because then I only have to cut them up, find the one that's relevant to the journal, cut it up and then include it. But I've attached it so that it forms a pocket and I've just put these in here just as a to show that there is a pocket there. Um, and there's the rest of the days of the week further on in the journal. But then she could use those elsewhere. As I say, they're just tucked in there to show that you can actually insert something inside of that. Then there's a pocket here, which I've embellished with a nurse. And I've used some um, images that I found myself. And I also use Mrs. Cog's kit as well. So thank you very much for that, Elizabeth. They were lovely. And there's some more journaling cards inside of there. Here there's a piece of lined paper which I folded and made it into a pocket so that there's some journaling spots in there too. Some more flowers and some lace on the edge of the page. Now I put this image in the centre because I thought it would be quite interesting to write around the actual shape itself. This nurse here acts as a tuck spot for two uh, mini tags which she could write some very specific words on and some more lace and this is the center of the signature and i've made it into a pocket so that there's a pocket on each side and this one was on one of um andrea's artie Mays's uh digital kit and 
then on this side there's an image of this nurse here and I've made it into a pocket at the top up there I did some crochet uh, doily lace and buttons and a flower did some stenciling on this page this one I didn't actually make it into a pocket I left it open so it's more of a tuck spot but if the lady wants to glue that down to make that into a pocket then she can do on this page there's a big pocket here and there's some journaling cards and I also made a little mini note well mini <laughs> not quite so many is it's quite a tall one but I made a notebook in there as well and as I say there are some journaling cards in there too and this also acts as a flip up so that she could write some stuff on the back side of the flip some more stenciling some lace another little tuck spot there this is a little tiny flip out some more flowers Another pocket with some journaling cards in. Uh, I recently showed you a video on some books that I'd gotten. One of them was the Vogue magazine. Uh, and in there, <laughs> believe it or not, was an image of a nurse. So at some point they did a, a feature on, on nursing. And there's an image on the back as well. Some more stenciling. Here I've made this into a belly band so there's some journaling cards behind there and then this flips up and flips down to reveal some more journaling space but also in the top there there's a little tiny secret little spot in there to be able to, to write a little something. This was one that I found on, uh, might have been Pinterest I found this one so that was a a little tip in page and then on this side here this was one of mrs cogs i added a, a little punch circle here with some little flowers on to act as a, a tuck spot for the corner of the image so that it acts as the closure then for this that then opens up so that you can write inside of there and that just tucks in to keep it closed there's a Rita Donnelly corner flip pocket there with some pieces in. This one I made into a long pocket belly band. Right, so that's the belly band, but it's also a pocket so that it's got some um, stuff in the top of the pocket. But then I added this image on the front, but I made it so that that also became a belly band too. So that's what's underneath the belly band then there's the little long notebooklet inside of the belly band pocket and then this is tucked underneath the extra belly band oh complicated stuff again this is another saying um that i'd stamped out and there's the rest of the the weeks and again i've added it so that it's a little secret pocket there so again i just took those in to show that it was actually a tuck space as well this image uh it flips up and i did some stenciling on the back of there another one of the green writing papers that again i just folded the edge up and the lady can stick that down as a pocket if she wishes but it's got some paper in there so that she could write some journaling notes and memories on there. This is a little flower and again another stamped set of, well, a stamped word. Another pocket here and I did some stenciling on the front with a button and then a quote here that says, every moment is a fresh beginning by T.S. Eliot and then there's some journaling cards inside of there a piece of graph paper on vellum um, and then these two images here they flip up so that they've got little silk uh, tags tabs on the edge and some buttons but they flip up to reveal some more writing space underneath there Again, the centre of the 
second signature and again I've made those into pockets but in this pocket I added one of the tag ephemera envelopes I think I called it um, if I remember I'll try and put the the link in the description box down below so that you can go and have a look and see how I went about making it so basically it's two envelopes and there's pockets in the top of those and then on the inside there's two um, straps at the cross the top to hold on to some note paper and I've decorated the back up as well so the back side slots inside the pocket and I've left some of the strings as well where I've done the, the sewing on the sewing machine and the lady can cut them off if she doesn't want them and then on this side I've tucked in an envelope that I've decorated and I've left the space here so that if she wants to write on it then she can do so that slots back inside of that pocket some more flowers a really large paper clip here with a charm on the end and that is to hold this down in place so if I pull that off this flips open so that it can be written on the back but it's also attached in such a way that it also forms a pocket as well so there's space in there to add extra bits and pieces some more of the graph paper another pocket with some more journaling cards inside and this one flips out again the other side of the lined paper again same thing left as a tuck spot could be made into a pocket here I've attached two envelopes with flowers on I haven't put anything inside of them because I thought that the lady might want to add some of her own things but I've added the envelopes where they're only glued down on each of the sides so then there is a big long tag tucked behind those envelopes here I attached part of the page to the back page or the page behind it and then tucked it over to make a little cuff and what I've done is I've cut out two mason jars but what I did was I, I attached them to glassine bags so that they make a pocket on the back there and then what I thought was I added some words tucked underneath that cuff part so that if these words meant anything to her then she could actually write a little note on the back and then keep them inside the pockets of the mason jars or she could add the words elsewhere within the journal on the back here I added uh, another pocket that I made and there's some journaling cards and some first aid book pages in there this was made a corner tuck spot pocket and there's a quote on there saying try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud and that was by Maya Angelou and then the last page there's two tags here which I haven't decorated they're just really plain so that if there are any photographs or anything that she wants to add then she can add those and write on them and then there's a pocket here with a journaling card inside now on the back I've actually attached a glassine bag which I folded up um, to make into some pockets and I've put some journaling cards in here which I thought the lady might be able to use and also some extra words as well so that if she wants to cut these out and use them elsewhere within the journal then she's got those to hand as well so that is the journal that I made for the lady who is a nurse well, she was a nurse, I believe she's now retired. So, And then that just tucks back in the handle there. But that's part of the reason why I didn't decorate the front because I just felt that with the seam binding and the pretty fabric as well, 
um, I didn't think it needed anything else. So, yeah, you're off to your new mummy. Hope she likes you. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. And um, hope that you might have found a little bit, bit of inspiration in there too. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. And um, if ever you see any of my videos that you like and you want to share them with your group, um, if you find that there's something in there that they might be interested in, then please do so. Okay, I'm off for a brew. Thanks for watching, ladies and maybe gents. See you soon. Bye.